After independence, Jawaharlal Nehru initiated reforms to promote higher education and science and technology in India. The Indian Institute of Technology IIT, conceived by a 22-member committee of scholars and entrepreneurs in order to promote technical education, was inaugurated on 18 August 1951 at Karagpur in West Bengal by the Minister of Education Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. More IITs were soon opened in Bombay, Madras, Kanpur and Delhi as well in the late 1950s and early 1960s. Beginning in the 1960s, close ties with the Soviet Union enabled the Indian Space Research Organization to rapidly develop the Indian space program and advance nuclear power in India even after the first nuclear test explosion by India on 18 May 1974 at Pokhran. India accounts for about 10% of all expenditure on research and development in Asia and the number of scientific publications grew by 45% over the five years to 2007. However, according to former Indian Science and Technology Minister Kapil Sibyl, India is lagging in science and technology compared to developed countries. India has only 140 researchers per 1 million population, compared to 4,651 in the United States. India invested $3.7 billion in science and technology in 2002–2003. For comparison, China invested about four times more than India, while the United States invested approximately 75 times more than India on science and technology. The highest ranked Indian University for Engineering and Technology in 2014 was the Indian Institute of Technology Bombay at number 16. Natural science ranks lower, while India has increased its output of scientific papers fourfold between 2000 and 2015, overtaking Russia and France in absolute number of papers per year. That rate has been exceeded by China and Brazil. Indian papers generate fewer sites than than average, and relative to its population it has few scientists. History Topic: 1947–1967 to convert India's economy into that of a modern state and to fit her into the nuclear age and do it quickly." It was understood that India had not been at the forefront of the Industrial Revolution, and hence made an effort to promote higher education, and science and technology in India. Planning Commission 1950 fixed investment levels, prescribed priorities, divided funds between agriculture and industry, and divided resources between the state and the federal governments. The result of the efforts between 1947–1962 saw the area under irrigation increase by 45 million acres 180,000 square kilometers, food production rise by 34 million metric tons, installed power generating capacity increase by 79 million kilowatts, and an overall increase of 94% in industrial production. The enormous population rise, however, would balance the gains. The economically beleaguered country was nevertheless able to build a large scientific workforce, second in numbers only to that of the United States and the Soviet Union. Education provided by the Government of India was free and compulsory up to the age of 14. More emphasis was paid to the enhancement of vocational and technical skills. J. P. Naik, member secretary of the Indian Education Commission, commented on the educational policies of the time. 
The main justification for the larger outlay on educational reconstruction is the hypothesis that education is the most important single factor that leads to economic growth, based on the development of science and technology. On 18 August 1951 the Minister of Education Maulana Abul Kalam Azad, inaugurated the Indian Institute of Technology at Karagpur in West Bengal. Possibly modelled after the Massachusetts Institute of Technology these institutions were conceived by a 22-member committee of scholars and entrepreneurs under the chairmanship of N. R. Sarkar. The Sino-Indian War 1962 came as a rude awakening to military preparedness. Military cooperation with the Soviet Union—partially aimed at developing advanced military technology was pursued during subsequent years. The Defense Research and Development Organization was formed in 1958. Radio broadcasting was initiated in 1927 but became state responsibility only in 1930. In 1947 it was given the name All India Radio and since 1957 it has been called Akashvana. Limited duration of television programming began in 1959, and complete broadcasting followed in 1965. The Indian government acquired the EVSM computers from the Soviet Union, which were used in large companies and research laboratories. Topic: 1967 to 1987. The roots of nuclear power in India lie in early acquisition of nuclear reactor technology from a number of Western countries, particularly the American support for the Terrapur Atomic Power Station and Canada's CANDU reactors. The peaceful policies of Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi may have delayed the inception of nuclear technology in India. Stanley Wolpert 2008 describes the measures taken by the Indian government to increase agricultural output. The Indian space program received only financial support from the Soviet Union, which helped the Indian Space Research Organization achieve aims such as establishing the Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station launching remote sensing satellites, developing India's first satellite — Aryabhata, and sending astronauts into space. India sustained its nuclear program during the aftermath of Operation Smiling Buddha, the country's first nuclear tests, though the roots of the Steel Authority of India Limited lie in Hindustan Steel Private Limited 1954. .The events leading up to the formation of the modern avatar are described below. The Ministry of Steel and Mines drafted a policy statement to evolve a new model for managing industry. The policy statement was presented to the Parliament on December 2, 1972. On this basis the concept of creating a holding company to manage inputs and outputs under one umbrella was mooted. This led to the formation of Steel Authority of India Limited. The company, incorporated on January 24, 1973 with an authorised capital of Rs. 2000 crore, was made responsible for managing five integrated steel plants at Balai, Bikara, Durgapur, Rorkela and Burnpur, the Alloy Steel Plant and the Salem Steel Plant. In 1978 Sale was restructured as an operating company. In 1981, the Indian Antarctic program was started when the first Indian expedition was flagged off for Antarctica from Goa. More missions were subsequently sent each year to India's base Dakshin Gangotri. 1987 Present Indian agriculture benefited from the developments made in the field of biotechnology, for which a separate department was created in 1986 under the Ministry of Science and Technology. Both the Indian private sector and the government have invested in the medical and agricultural applications of biotechnology. 
Massive biotech parks were established in India while the government provided tax deduction for research and development under biotechnological firms. The Indian economy underwent economic reforms in 1991, leading to a new era of globalization and international economic integration. Economic growth of over 6% annually was seen between 1993 to 2002. Same year a new permanent Antarctic base Maitri was founded and continues to remain in operation till date. On 25 June 2002 India and the European Union agreed to bilateral cooperation in the field of science and technology. A joint EU-India group of scholars was formed on 23 November 2001 to further promote joint research and development. India holds observer status at CERN while a joint India-EU software education and development centre is due at Bangalore. Certain scientists and activists, such as MIT systems scientist V. A. Shiva Ayyadurai, blame caste for holding back innovation and scientific research in India, making it difficult to sustain progress while regressive social organisation prevails. In addition, corruption and inefficiencies in the research sector and have resulted in corruption scandals and undermine innovation initiatives. Bangalore is considered to be the technological capital of India. It, biotechnology, aerospace, nuclear science, manufacturing technology, automobile engineering, chemical engineering, ship building, space science, electronics, computer science and other medical science related research and development are occurring on a large scale in the country. The southern part of India is responsible for the majority of technology and advancements the country has made. The Golden Triangle of IT and Technology Hyderabad, Bangalore and Chennai forms the backbone of Indian manufacturing, R&D, science and technology. In 2017, India became an associate member of European Organisation for Nuclear Research. Topic: Space Exploration. Topic: Mars Orbit Mission. The Mars Orbiter Mission, also called Mangalyaan, was launched on the 5th of November 2013 by the Indian Space Research Organisation (ISRO). It is India's first interplanetary mission, making ISRO the fourth space agency to reach Mars. After the Soviet space program, NASA, and the European Space Agency, the first Asian nation to reach Mars orbit, and the first nation to do so on its first attempt. Topic: <laughs> Chandrayaan-1. On 18 November 2008, the Moon Impact Probe was released from Chandrayaan-1 at a height of 100 km During its 25-minute descent, Chandra's Altitudinal Composition Explorer Chase recorded evidence of water in 650 mass spectra readings gathered during this time. On 24 September 2009 Science Journal reported that the Chandrayaan-1 had detected water ice on the Moon. 30-metre telescope The 30-metre telescope TMT is a planned, 18-storey, astronomical observatory and extremely large telescope to be built on the summit of Mauna Kea in the state of Hawaii. The TMT is designed for near ultraviolet to mid infrared 0.31 to 28 micrometers wavelengths observations featuring adaptive optics to assist in correcting image blur. The TMT will be at the highest altitude of all the proposed ELTs. The telescope has government level support from several R&D spending nations: China, Japan, Canada and India. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Science Academies in India. The idea of science academies in India has evolved along with the Indian independence movement. The three major science academies Indian National Science Academy, Indian Academy of Sciences and the National Academy of Sciences, India were all founded in the pre-independence era between 1930 and 1935. The countries resulting from partition of the subcontent have subsequently founded their own academies, namely Pakistan which founded Pakistan Academy of Sciences in 1953 and later Bangladesh with the Bangladesh Academy of Sciences founded in 1973. <laughs> Indian Academy of Sciences Also referred to colloquially as the Bangalore Academy, Indian Academy of Sciences (IAS) was founded in 1934 by C. V. Raman, the eminent physicist of his time in Bangalore (now Bengaluru, Karnataka), formerly known as the state of Mysore, India. Topic. National Academy of Sciences, India The founder and first president of the National Academy of Sciences, India Nasi was Dr. Mignad Saha in 1930 in Allahabad, Prayag, Uttar Pradesh, India. Indian National Science Academy Founded in 1935 based on a proposal by the Indian Science Congress Association and National Institute of Science of India with Dr. Mignad Saha's blessings, Indian National Science Academy is based in New Delhi, India. According to its charter, the historical aim of the INSA was to be similar to the Royal Society, London, a gathering of learned people to exchange ideas and further science. See also Biotechnology in India History of science and technology in the Indian subcontinent Open access in India Science and Engineering Research Board Science and Technology Studies in India Notes <laughs> <laughs>